welcome back to my channel so this has been something that has been on my list for a while and that is to dig into my kitchen and give it a little bit of a deeper clean than just my normal everyday cleaning so to start off I did kind of my normal everyday cleaning just clearing off the table and getting the dishes all cleaned up I just collected a lot of things and um, just put them like where they needed to go and that's one thing that I've noticed as long as I have a place for everything in my house it does not take that long to keep everything cleaned up I just have to do it often because I have little people that are often making messes but if as long as I have somewhere to go with it then I can quickly get everything done Next, I unpacked my husband's lunch. Um, that's something, of course, that I have to do on a daily basis so that it can get repacked the next day. And um, I use a lot of light glass containers with lids and things like that that I just throw right into the dishwasher. And speaking of my husband, he actually FaceTimed me, so I had a little bit of an interruption there, but got back to putting dishes away and collecting um, cups and things like that, stacking everything up. I do wash all of our sippy cups and water bottles and that kind of thing in the dishwasher. The only thing I don't wash in the dishwasher is like our tumblers with stainless steel insides. I just feel like it's better for them to be hand washed, so I do hand wash those. My dishwasher is broken, so that is why there's a cup underneath of it. I've had my little ones climb on it too many times, <laughs> and it slowly broke down the tension that was on it. So now I just use a cup, which is fine. It works out, and to be honest, I love my dishwasher. It works so good, and so I kind of dread the day it gives out on me, and I have to find another one. <laughs> After I got the dishwasher loaded, I just hand washed a few things, like I said, the tumblers and the blender pitcher, just a couple things that I didn't really want to put in the dishwasher. Okay, if you guys watch my vlogs or even just watch my cleaning videos, then you know I love the Method Anti-Back. And that's what I'm using, the purple bottle, to spray everything down. This was part of my, like, kind of deep cleaning the kitchen. I didn't get to the inside of the cupboards, but, like, just wiping surfaces, washing down the table and chairs, which honestly is one of my least favorite things to do in the house. I don't know why I think it's because I have little ones and they're just sticky and messy and it takes time to do it all but this anti-back definitely helps out and I of course get mine from Grove if you guys have never heard of Grove there is a link in the description box to put a whole bunch of free cleaning products in your cart um, so you should definitely check that out I love them and have been using them for over a year I like that I can just get my laundry detergent and all of my cleaning products ship to my door and I don't have to remember to put them on my grocery list. Oh. 
if you guys watch my channel often then you know that this table is not our forever table <laughs> if you want to call it that i'm actually going to be selling this table to a family member and we are going to be using my childhood table but i'm working on getting it refinished and redone. It's a huge process of sanding and all of that stuff. So pay attention to my vlogs if you guys want to see me working on that project. Next, I went over to my coffee bar and I do this every once in a while. I get my sweeper out and I will sweep up all the coffee grounds that have floated all over the tray and inside the top drawer. I keep extra mugs and other coffees and stuff so it gets opened up and coffee grounds go all over the place in there. So it's just easier to vacuum it all out before I wipe it up. Also, the trash can area is an area that gets so many splatters and splashes and so I got that wiped up with the anti-back as well. Next, I got started in on washing my cabinets down. I actually just mixed up some dish soap, warm water, and some orange essential oil into my sink and used that to wash everything down. Um, orange oil helps to cut grease as well as dish soap, and so the combination did a really great job on my cabinet doors. <music> So this was actually a couple hours later after my little ones had dinner. Um, I didn't get the floors and everything done until after that, which was fine because of course they were bringing more crumbs along with their dinner. <laughs> Let's talk about the O-Cedar Spin Mop. Um, first of all, I get a lot of questions about this and I get a lot of messages on Instagram from you guys telling me that you bought this and comments on YouTube here as well and that you are absolutely in love. I heard somebody say at one point in the last year that this is the best mop on the market right now and I like 110% agree. I think it's so awesome. Um, I'll leave a link for it below. You can get it off of Amazon. And something else that's really cool is Amazon has created packages where you can get multiple heads with the mop. I only have one and I throw mine in the washer, you know, washing it with just like rugs and other things. And it has held up for a very long time. So I don't even really think that you would need multiple heads, but if it's something you'd rather cycle through instead of having one to constantly wash, 
um, it might be handy. So anyways, I highly recommend it and suggest you guys check it out. you guys so much for watching today if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a like and i will see you in my next video